Hey guys, welcome back to Nicole's View. Now, this story actually came out last week, which is funny because I meant to do a video on it, but totally forgot. So this is the latest with the entire Bill Cosby fake ass scandal trial that will continue in April of next year. So I did the video, the last one I did was about one of the defamation lawsuits being dropped against Cosby. And so now this comes out and it just could come out at a better time. So who you see on your screen here is the ex-DA, Bruce Castor, and the fake accuser, Andrea Constant, in much younger years. So I am reading this from the Daily Mail and it says, ex-district attorney who refused to charge Bill Cosby in 2005 is suing Andrea Constant for defamation claiming lawsuits she filed against him in 2015 ruined his career. I've never seen anything like this. This is why folks, you have to pay attention because they're showing you right here what it's truly all about. Okay, this is not about no rape, no molestation, nothing. This is a bunch of BS. Okay, for an XDA to sue a so called accuser, that just lets you know that even he, none of them believe this bullshit. Okay, for him to sue her, that lets you know what this is all about. The former district attorney in Montgomery County who did not press charges to Bill Cosby in 2005, is suing his accuser. Bruce L. Castor Jr., the ex-DA, claims Andrea Constant made moves to hinder his career in a personal injury suit filed in Philadelphia Common Pleas Court. Constant alleges that Cosby drugged and molested her in 2004, which was a bunch of bullshit. In 2015, Constance sued the former district attorney for defamation. According to Castor's lawyer, James Beasley Jr., the 2015 suit was detrimental to that year's race where Democrat Kevin R. Steele ran ads criticizing the way Castor handled the case. According to Beasley, Constance was trying to gain a tactical advantage with the election in order to get Kevin Steele put in so that she could get Cosby prosecuted. This is a big deal, okay? If this in any way is allowed, I'm, which I'm sure it probably won't be, but if it is allowed in the trial that's supposed to happen in April, <laughs> they are literally giving Tom Mesereau everything he needs to work with right here. I mean, just right here. And any prospective jurors who are following this. It's all laid out for you. Let's see, but a lawyer for Constance Lawyer, Jeffrey McCarran, called the lawsuit legally deficient. Of course he would say that. If his described basis is the reason for the lawsuit, then we do not expect it will last very long, Mick McCarran added to the inquirer. And so that is the end of the article. But yes, isn't it amazing how they're all now turning on themselves? The XDA suing the quote unquote alleged victim. <laughs> See, this is why I love that those of us out here on YouTube whatever whatever platform you use to get out news commentaries and stuff like that the mainstream media is not going to touch this story okay you'll have a few websites like the daily mail i saw a local uh, i think philly.com talked about it but for the most part the mainstream media is not going to touch the story because it's like wait a minute yeah we're going to have to actually backtrack we're going to have to actually go back and look at this because it's full of bullshit, but see, they know that too. But see, they can't even fake it, okay? They can't even fake it. So I love it. I love that the rabbit hole is getting deeper. Um, it does not look good. And the fact that an XDA can come out and do this, I find it hilarious. So now they are suing each other. 
insanity, okay? The fact that this is allowed to even go on just shows you how white supremacy runs deep and how even they will have a civil war amongst themselves. Classic, classic case, okay? So you have Republican caster on the right here and you have on the left Democratic current DA there, which goes to show you that the Democrats, the liberals are just as bad, okay? Just as bad. The fact that he ran his campaign Kevin Steele on the left here, ran his campaign on taking down Bill Cosby, okay? Liberal, Democrat. So if he is willing to go through all this trouble and going through another trial in April, it lets you know where his loyalty lies and how much you wanna bet that there were Republicans who voted for him, who Secretly, they switched their vote just for him, just because they knew he wanted to bring down another old nigger in their eyes. How much you want to bet? Okay, so even though he's a Democrat or a Democrat, he's no better. He's no better. And Bruce Castor knows that Andrea Constant is full of shit. He started to flip it and turn it around and say, well, I wanted to, I wanted to go after Cosby, but you know, this happened and, and this reason, that and that reason, bullshit. Castor knows that Andrea Constant is full of it. He is the one that was investigating her background. And he was like, wait a minute, this just, you kept going back. No, nah, this ain't adding up. See, Castor, he knows he was using common sense. But see, then, by the time this whole entire Cosby thing exploded in the mainstream media, he had to start to, to backwalk, to moonwalk and say, well, you know, I did originally, I wanted to, you know, file charges against Cosby. He started talking like that. But see, it was too late. He was trying to save his own ass. It was too late. So anyway, I will continue to keep an eye out on this story because this is getting so interesting. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you think about this, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.